Hello, Hogzilla here again. In today's video, I am going to cover my tips and tricks and give a walkthrough on how I complete the Tropical 6 mission called Shackland. Basically, this will be an informal video. I don't have any script, and I'll just go over what I was doing and why I did it during the video. So let's go ahead and get the video started here. So obviously the first thing we need to do is pick the appropriate mission and it should start shortly. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that happens in rapid fire succession. So I'll try and keep up with it the best I can, but I might end up having to pause the video to uh, catch up. So the first thing we need to do is build up our, our economy. We want to have enough money, though, to uh, build ahead for the high school and the commando center. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the Pirate Cove and set it to bring in many people. Because um, one of the end goals of this mission is to have a thousand population. So you can have the Pirate Cove bring in many people and just set that on a reoccurring basis. Uh, one other thing you saw I did was I made the shipyard as sh uh, boats bring in a lot of money on this map. Set up your library to make sure that you can research items and set that as high priority because you really want that to be uh, built first. Set up a firehouse in case anything starts on fire. You should have enough money for a high school. So uh, go ahead and get the high school because they're going to ask for it later anyway. Now, uh, you saw I, I built three additional uh, logging camps um, for a total of four on the map. You can actually get away with just doing three logging camps and then um, setting up the lumber mill to be maximum uh, budget with the a uh, hasty debarking now what you're seeing me do is set up sugar so that i can have sugar in the um in the rum distillery now here's something that i kind of go back and forth on is setting up the manure spreader um they're cheap and what they do is they supposedly take from any ranches i'm just gonna pause it here for a second they take stuff from the ranches when you have pasture prohibitive set as the work mode and it generates manure which then goes to the manure spreader which then can go to re regenerating the land for the the plantations and that way you can keep the plantation on monoculture work mode instead of having to switch to multiculture which drops the uh efficiency if you have to do that like down 40 percent or something but at least the land doesn't degrade now on other maps i have actually um went away from that sometimes it isn't as effective if you have multiple of them because then you need multiple ranch ranches to fill those up and plus then you need more teamsters to haul the manure to the plant uh plant the manure spreader so it's really a 50 50 call on your part if you want to do that one thing i um didn't mention then why I paused the video is you set up your uh, research uh, like I did making sure to include the employee of the month and the um, the penal colony because penal colony will bring people in for um, to get your population up so then you get these optional quests I don't always do these um, you can if you want, uh, but for strictly for a speed run, I usually skip them. Um, and I'm now I'm just uh, got everything set up. I got my log camps ready. I've maxed out the Teamsters. Um, I built that little road by the logging camps across, so they didn't have to take the long way around by the rum distillery. And as soon as I had enough money for the commando garrison 
I went and bought the commando garrison and as soon as the commando garrison gets built you want to start um, if you could time it just My right set a sabotage for the axis or um, just set sabotage axis on a reoccurrence because that's going to be a requirement uh, quest coming up here uh, in a little bit so uh, I set the employee of the month so that I can get some more production. I'm just Sounds waiting uh, for the pirate cove to be built. So then I can set up my reoccurrence of um, the rescue many and the sabotage uh, access. So I just did reoccurrence in this video. Um, it's just always hard to um, determine exactly when you want to set that and you could actually get it where they complete the sabotage and then the, you just jump right into the next quest um one other thing i will note that it went by on the screen but didn't mention is you want to set your newspaper to penny saver yes it will lower the liberty slightly but you actually get money every time you're uh, people on the island go to rest. I think it's like five five dollars or whatever currency they use so Now it's just a little bit of a waiting game here as um, I'm waiting for the population to increase enough to where it's gonna uh, Provide additional quests once you get to 190 it will ask to build the high school and build the commando garrison, which we've already done, as you can see on this map here. And now I'm just making sure that everything is fully supplied. Um, yes, I do the piggy bank um, church fee edict because you might get asked to uh, do church fee and that will get you additional immigrants if you complete that, which is why I selected that uh, for research. And then I also did, for sure, state loans. State loans is almost a, a mandatory one to do, so you can have a little extra money coming in. So, I'm just waiting here. Um, I might speed this up ahead, because really right now I'm just waiting for um, a few more people to come in so that I can Let get um, get to the next era um, what I'm doing right now is building ahead a little bit um, I'm building the gold mines gold mines are big uh, money makers on here and once I get a little more money in I will build an additional Teamsters, as the Teamsters up there can only handle so much. In the end, you're probably going to end up for sure with three Teamsters, but more likely you should be aiming for four Teamsters on the total map. You're going to have one down here by the gold mines, along with some plantations, which are going to get built later. And then you're going to build a second one by the uh, ranch. I guess that'd be the third one and then you're gonna build one out by the weapons factory when we get there so I got up to um, actually I think it was like 230 is the number for when you get the high school request and then you do the sabotage mission against the access I'm building the bus garage now to transport citizens between what I would consider like the center by the dock to the um, mines and future plantations at the southern end of the map if I didn't do that then the people would have had to walk back and forth a long distance which would have slowed down production and slowed down money coming in this way if I give them a free bus ride then um, I'll make more money and have more production so now um, what I'm doing is I've completed the sabotage um, and now I'm building the tobacco fields because in a little bit here, they're going to ask for me to uh, export cigars. So I'm just building ahead. I'm building ahead of the quests because I know they're coming.
It's a mandatory quest. You've got a surplus of workers. So now what I'm doing is I'm building the coca plantations for chocolate. Now, I used to, before building the additional sugar plants, I would uh, strictly make it dark chocolate only for the, um, for the work mode on the chocolate factory, as we'll see in a little bit. But now that I have enough sugar, you could almost run sweet chocolate. Um, but for the time being, I think I stick with dark chocolate on this video. And you see there, I built the next Teamsters. Um, another thing you definitely want to be researching is right to arms, because that gets you additional immigrants. So once you have right to arms researched, go ahead and enact that edict. Um, and you get more immigrants for that. Um, so I built the additional Teamsters, got the additional people. I'm just going to build a few more plantations so that that um, chocolate factory has enough product coming in. And building extra sugar so that the rum distillery, because rum is a big money maker on this map, to um, definitely go ahead and uh, build more sugar. I'm building uh, more ranches and setting them to pasture prohibitive so that I can uh, have more manure coming in to uh, fill up the manure spreaders. Um, one thing I go back and forth, um, on some maps I'll set my Teamsters as loose load limit. Um, and what that just means is you could lose 10% of your load when they're transporting back and forth, but they can carry up to 50% more. In general, I go back and forth on this. Uh, I lean more towards doing safe load and then just upping the budget. So now I've actually um, hit the state loans and I'm gonna build the next phase, which is weapons. So one of the uh, things you need for weapons is a nickel. So I'm building some nickel mines. I'm gonna build a couple more bus plants so that I can transport people for one between the nickel plant in the center of town. And then the second bus depot I built is gonna be between the steel mill, coal mill, or coal, coal mine and iron mines and the center of town. So I'm building a road in the back way so that the nickel can make a quick route from the nickel plant up to what you'll eventually see is the the steel and weapons factories so now what i'm doing is i'm just building my coal and iron go ahead and connect all those up via roads the cigar factories and now what I want to do is uh, build the steel mill, the weapons factory, and um, another Teamsters. So this is uh, either your third or fourth Teamsters. I recommend four, but you can get away with doing three, especially if you do load, loose load limit as your work mode. Now here's what I do sometimes on this map, is I will build the chapel the grocery store and maybe a clinic and a tavern that way the people might not transport back to the center of town uh, which would mean they're more productive or at least they're they they spend less time going to their needs instead of having to go to the center of town so now it's just a waiting game uh, set your max budget on your steel mill and set the work mode to hot rolling so that you get increased efficiency even though there is a slight upkeep um, penalty so to speak uh, make sure that you're setting all your mines to uh, profit protocol so that the workers work longer and you get more product out of those mines um, now I'm just um, filling a few more optional requirements. This one I do yes, want to do, which was three inspirational statues. 
if you have the 15,000 plus whatever the blueprint costs. Um, that gets you, I think, 20 immigrants. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, cause the population to, to uh, I'm going to hire people to increase my population. So what I'm doing now is I'm removing all the workers from that plantation and then clicking the yellow spots to hire foreign workers. So then the next time the ship comes in to dock, they will bring in those uh, workers to fill those plantation spots as long as you've uh, hired a foreign worker. And you do that enough, just hire, fire, hire, fire, hire, fire, you will eventually get to the 1,000 population. Then there's just a few other optional quests along the way. Um, you saw I completed the right to arms in here. So I got 20 immigrants for that. I continue to hire and fire here on the uh, plantations. I'm not so worried about the product here as getting the, the people in. Um, immigrant office might or might not help. Uh, maybe on the easier modes, it doesn't help as much. So. Just continue to fire and hire. Um so that you can get up to a thousand um you saw the optional quest to export three thousand chocolate um what that'll do is actually um on your trade screen it'll actually give you a chocolate export route with the smuggler nation um at an insane profit for you an insane markup i forgot it's like 200 percent or something we'll see the exact amount when i complete it here uh, I usually do end up completing the export chocolates. Um, so I'm just setting up the export cigars and export rum because um, if you set up a higher uh, amount, uh, you get better standing and you'll get more money um, by setting a, a contracted amount. So every time the ship comes in with export money, I'm just using that money immediately towards... Um, hiring and firing or i guess in the inverse order um more workers at the plantation and i do this off to the side and not the ones i've already built because i don't want the tobacco coca or sugar to be impacted by me hiring and firing because if there's no workers at the plantation nothing's being produced so now i'm just waiting for the money to come in i get the money to come in I almost completed the export chocolate there, but I fell just short. So just more firing and hiring. And as you can see, it goes up, I believe, by five or four or five dollars each time you hire a foreign worker. So then the subsequent foreign worker is going to cost more to hire. So that's why those optional quests are very important to complete because more than likely it, you're gonna save money in the end so there I just completed the export chocolate and you can see I think it was 50% was the amount I didn't catch it there um, but um, now when chocolate gets um, taken to the dock I will basically get 50% more than the base export rate the so um, I just demolished the commando garrison. That might have actually been a slight mistake on my part um, in this video for for a speed run, I should say. Um, I should have probably demolished that commando garrison the second I um, the second I uh, completed the sabotage access because it's got no meeting after that point. Right now, um, I did have a protest for fun. I did go ahead and say, I'll fix that. And they want a level of 28. I'm not gonna do that because I'm almost done completing this map. So um, I will complete this map before those 1200 days elapse there. 
are normally I'd build a couple circuses and set them to the max budget, and that would get you above the 28. Um, so I'm just uh, throttling up a little more money here um, with the plantations, and hopefully um, this ship docking will bring in about the 26 or 27 or that, perfect thousand right on the dock and i have won the map um so that is how to complete the shackland um mission on tropico 6 um i will leave a link to this video plus the medium and hard difficulty ones as you do take a little longer with those and you might do things slightly different because the difficulty is a little higher so you might want to review those but given they're taking longer i decided just to cover the easy mission for today so if you do like these overview videos then hit that like button and if you have a question or concern uh, leave a comment below for this video and please consider subscribing to my channel thank you for watching this informal um, coverage of how to complete shackland and i hope to see you next time